Hello guys and welcome to the Pentagon episode 2 and we are at the end of our first season at Whitbang Spurs it's been a really really long ride and we've done really well our financial status is still insecure but I'll quickly show you the finances and they are a lot better than they were we're only just over just under 300 grand in debt now um, the, to be fair the chairman has been pumping 190 grand in every couple of months but we've made a bit in prize money so we are getting some money in and we're getting uh, as you can see it's starting to come back up a bit now hopefully that can continue and get us back into the black so I'll get onto the fixtures now for you right so the last time you saw us was the Bay United game so we then played FCAK at home and drew nil nil uh, we lost Simba Sithole to injury in this game but uh, a nil nil draw it wasn't a terrible uh, result they're not a bad side but they're not a great side by any means but we're keeping a decent run of results going there and then we played Roses United at home we lost to them in the first match we beat them 1-0 this time around Cecil Oerson's goal 5 minutes into the game was enough to give us the 1-0 win and looking at the match stats we it was very very even it was spot on even we had one clear cut chance though and took it and uh, yeah came over 3 points and I was pleased another clean sheet defensive record's definitely been really impressive we then played African Warriors now this team seems to be my bogey team beyond belief drew with them in a friendly then lost to them in the league and now we've lost to them again away from home uh, Villa Kazi with the goal for them for after 8 minutes Lucky Kune after 43 getting his equaliser I thought second half will push on and win the match instead Moshikidi scored for them we couldn't find an equaliser and we ended up losing 2-1 to be honest on the day stats wise they had the better of the ball the better shots they, we had one clear cut chance they didn't have any which meant that they were taking uh, lit, what little chances they got and 2-1 uh, win for them and no points uh, we then played Vasco da Gama South Africa we lost them the first time around as well we beat them 2-1 away from home as well and what a game this was Damian Mitchell gave them a lead after 8 minutes Abel and Tho equalised just 2 minutes later and then right in stoppage time a corner came in and Danny Isoso Mabo in stoppage time scoring for us to give us the 2-1 victory and a valuable 3 points um, on a day when to be honest we didn't deserve it they outpowered us but that's been the story of our season so many games where we've been on the receiving end of so much possession shots and we've come out with 3 points so it's pleasing to see that we followed that up with a 2-1 win away at Sivutsa Stars FC uh, Lucky Kune after 3 and 52 minutes giving us the lead Bulu did get one back from just after the hour but it wasn't enough for them and the team that eventually went down bottom of the league um, we beat them 2-1 away again they we didn't dominate them it was very even and uh, <laughs> another 3 points and that's I'm telling you now so many games have been where it's been even or they've had the better of the football but we're coming away with the result which is really really good we then played Jomo Cosmos in what turned out to be the most important game of the season we drew 1-1 at home um, I was really hoping for a win so we beat them twice in friendlies beat them earlier on in the league really did hope for a win but unfortunately Sono scored a penalty after 4 minutes for them Abel and Tho really hit some form in the second half of the season scored after 52 minutes to equalise but that's how it finished, it finished one all, and if you look, again, dominated by the opposition, but coming away with the result, so it's uh, it's not all bad. We then won 2-0 away at FC Cape Town, who were the other team to get relegated. Abel and Tho with 2 in 3 minutes, 13 in 16 minutes, giving us a 2-0 win. And uh, we got 3 points, and it was very even, so it could have quite easily gone the other way but we're taking our chances when we get them and uh, that's what I brought these uh, strikers in to do we then played Milano United at home and won 2-0 um, Abel and Tho again 55 minutes and Lucky Kune on the score sheet 7 minutes from time to give us the win uh, looking at the stats it was even possibly just edged our way 
uh, we did deserve the win on the day so another good win unfortunately we lost Abelon though to a little injury there so we missed a couple of games but we uh, we didn't miss him too much because we beat Dynamo's 1-0 Magashwa 16 minutes from time with the only goal of the game to give us the win but they absolutely slaughtered us for the entire game we only had 3 shots on target and 8 shots in the game so they had 25 shots and 12 on target but our keeper was on inspired form and uh, kept them at bay and we won 1-0 and there's been a lot of clean sheets this season we then played United FC at home 1-3-1 um, Abel and Tho after 4 Kune after 9 put us 2-0 up Villa Kazi then scored from the penalty spot 4 minutes before half time and I thought it might give them a bit of momentum going into the second half but Fellani 5 minutes from the end of the game put us 3-1 up to secure the win and give us all 3 points and the match stats show that they probably just had slightly the better of the chances. We have more possession, but uh, again we've come away with a win. And we've taken what little chances we created. We then played Santos FC away and drew 1-1. Uh, Abel and Thor after 10 minutes, and it looked like it was going to be enough to see it, to get all three points. But six minutes from time, Sitai Tai scored for them to make it 1-1, and uh, yeah dropped two points there but again you look and they've absolutely battered us the whole game 62% of the possession 27 shots 12 on target and they've only scored one our keeper and our defence have been really really good this season at keeping uh, keeping teams at bay and a 1-1 draw I would have taken it um, then we played MP Black Aces and this was an absolutely heart wrenching defeat against the team we share a ground with Olomu after 18 minutes and Unquana after half an hour putting them 2-0 up Kune got one back 10 minutes later but that's how it finished we just pushed and pushed but we rarely created much um, they had more shots on target even on possession but we just couldn't create anything clear cut and in the end we've gone down and lost, lost a game that was really really important we then beat Thunder Royal Zulu who were in the remote promotion uh, chase with us. Lucky Kune after 44 minutes with the only goal of the game. And the match stats show that uh, they had the better of the game. Again, 60% of the possession, 16 shots, 6 on target. But we take our chances, which is good. We then played Bay United away and drew 0-0. Nil -nil. Um, and it was just a poor game I remember watching it and I was just thinking that I just want this to end because it didn't look like either team was going to win and uh, we probably had the better of it but on the day it was just poor look at that no clear cut chance in the game so you can see how many how the creativity was going only 72 fans at the game they don't get good attendances there do they we finished off the season the league season with a 1-0 win at home to Blackburn South Africa Abel and Tho after 25 minutes with the only goal of the game. Um, again, we had three shots on target, but we only had six shots in the game. They had 12, but didn't hit the target once. And uh, it was a very poor performance from them. Uh, and we've managed to come away with the win. So, how did that leave the table? The table finished like this. We finished second in the playoff places behind Jomo Cosmos. We only finished a point behind them. So that defeat to MP Black Aces, that draw right at the end against Bay United, if we won either of those games, we would have been up as champions. But instead, we have to settle for a place in the playoffs. Now, the playoffs are a weird system. It's the team who were in the relegation playoff in the Premiership and ourselves and Thunder Royal Zulu. Um, and we play each other twice in a we all play four matches and then the winner of the little group at the end goes up now Thunder Royal Zulu have got to play the first four games they've got to play on the, th on the Tuesday then the Thursday then the Saturday and then the Tuesday again so four games in the space of eight days now we play them in our second game after we've played them away we play them at home but we get a rest of four days 
between our Tuesday and our Saturday game. They play in between against Maritzburg United, so we're going to have to take advantage of the fact that they're going to be knackered by this game and uh, beat them. Another little thing to show you, the periods, they do periods in this in this uh, league, and it, you get money for finishing top of the league for each period. So we finished ninth in the first period, and that's where our season was. As, that's why we haven't got promoted, because if you look, the next period, we were second, behind only behind the leaders, Jomo Cosmos, uh, by three points. We then finished the third period uh, in first place. Uh, two points clear as our nearest challengers. We received about 20 grand, I think it was, for finishing top of that period. And the fourth period, we finished second again. And if we'd have, if we'd have just got a slightly better start, we would have won the league. And it wouldn't have been that close either. Just a few more points in the first few first seven games of the season. But that's the way the, that's the way the league's gone. Um, we've massively overachieved to get second place. We were predicted 12th. The board didn't expect to get out of mid-table. Um, I've really, really overachieved. We haven't scored that many, but we haven't conceded that many. We've got one of the best defences in the league, third best defence. Uh, Attacking-wise, we are down in about 6th place or 7th place. So we've not got the best attack, but we've won the most games out of any team in the league. Uh, which is pleasing to see so there have been no transfers or anything so this is the end of the episode guys I'll, what I will try and do is I will try and clump at least two games maybe do two and two in the playoffs so two in one episode, two in another if it gets too long to do all four in one episode so guys for now I'll see you later and I'll catch up with you in the playoffs see ya, bye